All right, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at equations and inequalities with absolute values. Let's get started. All right, here we're given v, where v is an equation. The absolute value of that is equal to a, a real number. That's the same as saying that v, our equation, is equal to a, or v is equal to negative a. Okay, now why is that? Notice that if our answer is a, let's substitute that back in here. The absolute value of a is equal to a. Now we say, hey, is this true? The absolute value of a is a. Is a equal a? Yeah, that's true. Now, why do we have to make the other one negative? Let's see what happens when we put it back in. The absolute value, or the absolute value of negative a is equal to a. Well, we know the absolute value of this, okay, of well, something that's negative is, which is the positive of that. So a is equal to a, and we'll see that that is true also. Okay, so that's why when we have these problems, when you have an equal sign, we're gonna split them into two. Okay, let's go ahead and put that into practice. All right, here we're starting off with a very simple one. We're given the absolute value of x plus four is equal to 13. Well, we can't do anything yet. So what we do here is that we see that our absolute value uh, equation is alone. There's nothing left for us to do. So right here, we do our split. We say that x plus 4 is equal to 13, or x plus 4 is equal to negative 13. All we have to do now is just solve each one. Minus 4. 9 or now we do this side minus 4 minus 4 x is equal to negative 17 okay, so our solution set is negative 17 9 that's it all right let's go ahead and try this one together notice that here I have my absolute value here's my equal sign but I have something extra on the outside of the absolute value okay that means that i can't split yet this needs to be completely alone before you can do a split so we need to get rid of this plus eight so let's just subtract eight from the left side and the right that gives us absolute value of one minus four t equal to five now that it's alone i mean it look like the other ones that we tried now i can do a split 1 minus 4t is equal to positive 5, or 1 minus 4t is equal to negative 5. And now let's just solve them accordingly. Minus 1 minus 1, negative 4t is equal to 4, divide by negative 4, and t is equal to negative 1. On the other side, same thing. But here I get negative 6. So divide by negative 4, Dividing by two negatives, so I just get 6 over 4, which is just 3 over 2. And my solution set is negative 1, 3 over 2, or 1.5. Okay. Main thing here is you need to get this alone first before you do your splits. Alright, go ahead and pause the video. Try these two problems out. I'm going to show you the answers in 3, 2, 1, all right, here are your answers. I hope you got them right. What about here? Here they give you an inequality where your absolute value, remember it's alone, you can't have anything else on the outside. Once it's alone, notice that it has a less than your answer, okay, less than A. So what you need to do is, when you do your split here, you'll actually be doing this, okay, which we have worked on before. Let's go ahead and give it a try, all right. Let's go ahead and look at what we have here. Absolute values alone, we have a less than or equal to, and here's our A, a real number. So, since this is alone, we can do a split. And it's not a split like before, because it's a less than. So what I do is I just write everything over again without the absolute value signs, and I add in the left piece. 
instead of a positive three, this is negative three. And now it becomes like one of my favorite ones where you're working on both sides at the same time. So I'm trying to get that X by itself here in the middle. So I need to get rid of everything else. So minus four on the three sides. Negative seven, less than or equal to two X, less than or equal to negative one. Okay, the X alone need to divide by two, so divide by two on all sides. <clears throat> negative seven over two is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to negative one over two. And here are my here's my answer. That's it. You've done this before, so you should feel pretty good about it. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try these two problems out. Don't forget to get that absolute value by itself first in that green one. I'm gonna show you the answers in three, two, one. All right, here are your answers. I hope you got them right. All right, let's see what we have here. Here this time, we still have our absolute value by itself, but it's a greater than. Okay, things happen differently when it's a greater than. Here you split them into two, and notice that our first split actually looks exactly the same as our original problem. Okay, or it could look like this. V, instead of a greater than, this is now less than, since you switch this, switch your number to the right also. So, less than negative A. All right, let's put it into practice. All right, let's see what we have here. We have our absolute value by itself greater than three. So right now, we know we can do our split since this is by itself, but it's a greater than, so it's different from the other ones. Notice I'm just gonna write the same one again for my first split. This is 2x minus 5 greater than 3. Or, now I'm going to do this side, 2x minus 5 less than negative 3. And now I can go ahead and start solving it. Okay, plus 5, plus 5, it's 2x greater than 8, divide by 2, and x is greater than here plus 5 plus 5 2x is less than 2 divided by 2 and x is less than 1 okay so this is my answer here so you just write it as x less than 1 or x is greater than 4 You got it. All right, go ahead and try these two problems out. Pause the video. And I'll show you the answers in three, two, one. All right, here are your answers. I hope you got them right. All right, that's it for today. Until next time.